Hey guys, welcome. This is a guitar tutorial for the song Tribus by The White Arrow. It was suggested by Helena on my Patreon and it's a wonderful song. So here's the tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you the verse, so the, the chords for the verse. The difficulty level is beginner to intermediate. This is really fairly simple. Um, and I'm going to show two versions, so one is really for beginner and one is a little bit more uh, more advanced with the little decoration at the end. And on my Patreon page you can also find the tabs for the intro riff. And the chord diagrams for the chords of the, of the whole song. Um, Alright, so let's break it down. We're going to start by looking at the chords. We have four chords here. We have E minor, we have G, we have A sus2. Okay, A sus2 is like A minor, but without the first finger. Okay, so we want the second string open. And then we have a C major 7. Okay, that's like a C chord, but with the second string open, so without the first finger on the second string. These are the chords. First step is maybe just to uh, play the chords. Now you can see that um, in the G chord, for instance, I'm only using one finger. That's because we don't use the fifth string and we also don't use the first string. So you can be lazy with this one, just use one finger. All right, so now we have the chords down. Let's take a look at the finger picking pattern. It's also fairly simple. It goes like this, it goes bass, 4, 3, 2, 4. The numbers I mean are the numbers of the strings. So the bass of the E minor, it's the 6th string. Then 4th string, 3rd and 2nd strings together. And then the 4th string again. Um, and I'm using the, the thumb for the, for the bass strings, so for the 6th, 5th and 4th. And the index and middle for the 3rd and 2nd strings. So we start with E minor, then we do the same thing for the G, same thing for the A sus2, only the bass is on the 5th string, and same thing for the C major 7, and again the bass is on the 5th string. So this is the, this is the basic version, the more simple one, you just keep the pattern throughout all of the chords. sure that you can transition the chords on time okay because the chords actually change quite fast once you're able to do that slow you want to try to speed it up a little bit to get to the speed of the song That's the song. Now, for those of you who want to take it a step farther, you can also add this nice decoration at the end. This one. Um, so this is only on the last chord, on the C major 7. We're playing the bass and then the 4th string and then 3rd and 2nd and then I'm doing this. So I'm, I'm picking the 3rd and 2nd strings and I do a hammer-on to the 1st fret of the second string and then open string again and I pick with the middle finger the last note try that it's a really nice trick um, you can also use it in, in other uh, songs and other contexts and it um, it kind of adds a little melodic decoration to the riff so it sounds like this So this is Tribus by the White, White Arrow, uh, great song, thank you Helena for the great song suggestions. For those of you who also want to learn the intro, this part. So 
available on my Patreon. Link is in the description. Check it out. I have a lot, a lot, a lot of content there based on your requests. Um, and subscribe to my channel to stay updated with new tutorials. I upload new tutorials every week. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.